Hey everyone, my name is Colby Wright. I want to give a super brief intro to this video. You'll notice there's no music. That's 100% on purpose. Uh, lots of narration, no music, because this video is intended to provide beta and intel for anybody thinking about doing Santhrax Canyon. I did it for the first time yesterday. Really intense canyon. You want to make sure you have good background yourself, comfortable off the deck, comfortable with silos, and make sure you have competent leadership as you go. I want to give a big shout out to the guys I went with yesterday, Christian, Josh, Austin, Enoch, Thomas, Slade, and myself. Fantastic group. Couldn't, could not have gotten through without them. Now look, you're going to see we had a big near miss in the canyon yesterday, and if we hadn't been following good safety protocol, we could have had a really serious accident. It's that kind of canyon. I want you to see that. I want you to see the silos, see the obstacles, see the crux, see how we struggled with it want you to be able to make it through Sans uh, Santhrax safely and successfully. So again, if you don't have the right background and the right leadership, this is not the canyon for you. But if you do, good luck. It's a killer canyon. Yeah, All right, that. dude. Now, this is a teeny rope. How, how far is this to go? Oh, it's not bad. It's like... I normally go fast, but I don't want to burn my gloves today. Yeah, this is not a good day to burn gloves. Ooh. A little down climb here early on in the canyon. Yeah, okay, we're still kind of early Santhrax Canyon here. Yeah, Starting to get off the deck a little bit. How far down is it, you guys? Uh, 30 feet. Solid 30 feet. feet. Yeah, probably about 3,000. 3,000. <laughs> Just go straight down. Move <laughs> So we're still upper Santhrax. Just some weird moves here to get up. From probably the camera, it doesn't look that tough, but it's challenging, man. So again, this this doesn't look like it's much on camera, but man, really physically demanding. It's just there's not great angles. It's not scary. It's just work. It's just work. So you can see these guys fighting right now. Breathing hard. Yeah. Okay, this is the first like real silo that we're hitting here. All right, here's Thomas taking on that first silo. Santhrax Canyon, man, we're fully in it now. Hey. It's a commitment. Get the slippage going. That gets wide. Yeah. Yeah, there it is, right there, dude. Just more of this off the deck stemming, man. And it, it's not bad. Like if you're okay being off the deck and stemming, it's it's not bad, but it's just. Just drains you. Enoch and Thomas back there, Christian. Got the Vanguard up front, tip of the spear. It's fun, it's good, it's just wearing me out. So after doing a big chunk of stemming, we rip over here and then it looks like we gotta drop down. You can see dudes working their way through right there. So this is the other side of that down climb I was showing you from the top. You can see Thomas up there. Just barely visible through that birth canal. Yeah. And then right swing around here, made it through, and you're back to more high stemming, which is relentless. More than fine, actually. So you get through that, you get through that down climb back there, you can see it behind you, Enoch. Then the good news is, right when you squirt out of that thing, you get a silo. And this one's a little bit wider than the first one, but still very doable. But you can see, Thomas being smart, dipping a little bit low. There's no reason why you couldn't go low there if you need to. And then when you get across, just shimmy back up. So four of us have gone over the silo back here. Two more to go. Uh, we're gonna watch one of these guys go over it. Uh, they coached me through it nice. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Crushed it. Yeah, so what do we get? So we still got crux. How many more silos we got, you think? Uh, that's the main one before the crux, as far as I know. Well, uh, but freaking we awesome. little stuff. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know what's ahead of us. We just gotta get to the crux. Yeah. Okay. Not here goes. Today. Here goes Not Ina. Today, son. Okay. Oh, wait, I should go for this, huh? <laughs> here we are. So you know, it is interesting when you watch these videos. Like this thing. Doom. This thing didn't look bad on the video, but getting out of it is a little bit tricky. <laughs> like bridging over it was felt really secure. It's just getting back into the canyon. It's a little dicey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you saw how I did it, and I couldn't explain it to you because I'm not even really sure. 
thighs. So it, it was a lot of upper body from right there, Enoch. You dismantle or what? Until you can get a foot going. Yeah, you're right. you're there now. You got it. Okay, I don't have a great angle on this one, but here's the next silo that we face. Uh, so you can see you could see how people could go up high on this one, but most of us chose to go down low where it's a little tighter, a little more secure. But then just another sort of exhausting up climb to get out of it, but totally doable. Okay, so after doing that silo, you get up to the top here, you actually can get a nice rest. There's some boulders. So after that silo, you can get your feet back under you, but then you turn right back around and you're just stemming. I mean, this canyon's just relentless with the stemming. And I can tell you my palms are starting to get tender just from all the stemming. Yep. Okay, put it in there further, further. Yep. There you go. Yep, there's the move. Okay. Yep, and then just move and you move a little lower and come towards me. Hips are locking up. Yeah, it's scary, so you got Okay. Throw up. Oh gosh. I like we got to find the silo to be bolted in Santa. So we've already gone over quite a few silos, but we hit this one and this one's a doozy. Yep. We're all a little nervous here. You get a full body bridge? Yeah, that's how I see people do it is they put their feet over on that side as well. Oh gosh. So slightly. Like, Oh, you're on delay. I know, it's just diagonal pockets. Yeah. Okay, put it in there further, further. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yep, there's the move. Okay. Yep, and then just move and move Ooh. a little lower. Come towards me. Hips are locking. Yep, it's scary, so. Yep, like that. There you go. You're all good. You're on rope, too, so. I know. I'm not shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking out. I'm tired. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Nice. That's the move right there, I think. So, yeah. Is it all the way through my underwear? So, Thomas. What color is your underwear? Ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, it's all the way. It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thomas burned through his pants. What I really want to say is after you do this hard silo, then you have a pretty long down climb. Those guys just look like they're shit. Because, like, right in his butt crack, is, uh, it's all brown. That's a pretty long down climb. We'll try to let Thomas get in front so we can video him. Okay, trying to give you a feel for the crux. You can see Josh down there. Problem is, it's super narrow right where he is. And you gotta get up, but it's really exposed too, right where you need to get into the canyon where it's super narrow. How far down to the ground from where you are? Uh, 30. Yeah, so if you tumble, it's not going to be good. And again, there are people that have high stemmed across right there, but you can see that's a really just dodgy, dicey move with so much exposure, man. If you go, you're done. Are you too? Okay, I'm going to set the stage here. We're going to try having Josh give a big assist with, I think, Austin helping on the assist. We're going to try to boost Christian up to where he can get in there, and then he'll get to the top and give us a meat anchor. That's going to be our strategy. So, okay, and then I'll come back up, yeah. What I'll do is I'll kind of come like this. Okay. And I'll give you shoulders from here, and then once you get higher and play something, I'll give you a good foot, foot spot. And then how do you want me to back? Um, probably where he's at. Yeah. So, I'll in just, case, in case he, yeah. he comes backwards, we're I'll, there yeah. to... Yeah, there to catch. Yeah. Okay. You do a shoulder, and then I can give you hands. You want hands now? You want hands now? So, it's like sometimes I lose mine when she gives you a little more. You want to place the second? Yeah, I'm at the delay right here. Okay. Yeah, walk up these. Put the other one in. <laughs> 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 Shoulder, go shoulder. You're gonna use that. Okay. You can use shoulder on your left foot. Okay. Oh. Nice. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Okay. Okay. That cam uh, held. Thank goodness or I would have been screwed.
I'm gonna use my leg. You can. Your call. Ooh, that would be. That could give you a nice boost, actually, if you put your left foot on yeah. your knee. Yeah, your left leg back on my knee. Seriously, it could be a bomber. Yep. Yep. Get into the crack. I'm good. Place that higher if you need to. Oh, you got it. Yep. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, I'm wobble. You're wobbly? Yeah, just because I'm I'm just on the toe. Sorry. Shoulder, if you can. Alright, Ross can give a little bit. Okay, good. Okay, now he's got to make his moves into the crack. Oh, yeah. Oh, Trying to wait the cam sooner than later. We just got past the hardest part of the canyon. This is the crux back there, back where they are. I don't even know if you can see them. But we've been doing this for the past few hours. It's like, it's a pretty big drop down there. It's a good time. Finish the crux with some heroic moves by the vanguard of our group. You get done with the crux, and it's just more of this way off the deck stemming. A little bit of a wide area there, but it's not too bad. But man, it's just the canyon is just relentless. You just don't get a break. Oh. Okay, so you get past the crux, you have a really like decently long stemming section. Then you rappel into this sort of chamber here, which I know is hard to see, but you kind of come down here and then you're gonna work your way out. Whoops, work your way out. It's not bad, it's just a little dark. So you come out of there and then you walk through a little pathway here. Okay, but I'll tell you what though, it feels good to be on the canyon floor for a few minutes. And here out a little bit. <laughs> it's it's easy as it got. I mean, Psycho D is actually easier than this one without the crest. So once you get through that rappel, you get through the, the like cavern here, and you're on the ground. It feels good, so although everybody's beat up pretty good, and we don't exactly know how much is left, but there's a little bit left. I'm gonna wait for Josh. Okay, we're back up to stemming here, past the crux, past the stemming, past the wrap, into the cavern. Canyon just won't let go of us, literally. It just won't let go. All right, dude, we're approaching the exit here. Thomas is, says he can see it. It's right there. Yeah, so Santhrax is almost in the books, but man, that's that's a real canyon. That's a serious canyon. Okay. All right, just finished Santhrax. Woo! There's Woo! The crew. There's the crew. <laughs> yeah! Kill you.